So the Michigan hearings did happen. They started, uh, well, they didn't start yesterday, but yesterday uh, there was a hearing, and it started with possibly my new favorite person. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. This was, I, we have a lot to get, but this was just fun. He's the best. Welcome so, to the Senate Oversight Committee. You have three minutes. Thank you, committee. I am so happy to be here. Let me put my hat back on because this is my prize right here. This is the winner who won the election before it was cheated. And um, uh, as a sidebar for Senator um, Santana, welcome, my sister from the D. If Black Lives Matter, why did you skip me? But well, let me tell you, it was voter fraud at its finest, pure and cal calculated fraud. And I, I wouldn't be surprised the people up here was involved. God damn. <laughs> Let me grab my hat, but before I speak, how do y'all feel about forced sodomy? <laughs> man, we appreciate the lady uh, bringing her hand sanitizer. Oh, that's KY. Get ready. Yeah. Oh, Get shit. ready. <laughs> <laughs> they were not prepared for this. Yeah, she had that Jesse wish. Jackson rhyming and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she did. I Can wish we that I were a record? black lesbian yeah. because I could get away with anything. As much as you want. Not that she's a lesbian. No, 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 no. no, 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 no but no. she still gets away with more than I do. Or, or Elliot Page will be able to. Oh. <laughs> So there are a few claims that are new, and there are some that obviously are um, sort of repeated claims that we've already verified here on this program. But there were some yeah. new ones, and it's hard to keep track. I tell you, I do this for a living, and it's very hard for me it to is. keep track. So I'm going to try and simplify it, distill it as, as, as well as I can for you. Uh, there was one witness who said that uh, military ballots she saw, they looked like Xerox copies. These are military mm, yeah. ballots. Ugh. They looked like Xerox copies of each other, meaning multiple of the same ballot. Um, none of them were registered Michigan voters. And uh, I don't know if you know this, but again, we've noticed a disturbing trend with these mistakes. I know you're thinking, well, okay, but that's so you so you doubled yeah. up on votes. But if it right. ends up being, a, you know, okay, an, an extra 50 for Biden, extra 50 for, no, hold on, end phrase. Only for Biden, here you go. Not one of the military ballots was a registered voter. Um, and the uh -huh. ballots look like they were all exactly the same Xerox copies of the ballot. They were all for Biden across the board. There wasn't a single Trump vote. And none uh -huh. of the, the voters were registered. They had to manually enter the names and addresses at a birth date of 1-1-2020, which would override the system and allow them to enter non-registered voters, of which I saw several that day throughout the day that's how they would override voters that were neither in the electronic po poll book or the supplemental updated poll book wow. okay you know what's so sinister about this is, and i know people will watch right now with a skeptic and you should watch this with a skeptical mind all yes. of these sources will be available at lateralcredit.com you just click the description we try to make these available to you they will say well look that's just that's just hearsay as though it's like Christine Blasey Ford saying that she was raped at a party that right. never happened yeah. in a house that doesn't yeah. exist. It's not. Now, what you have are signed affidavits, and you have people under threat of uh, under penalty of perjury making these claims. You go, well, where's the paper trail? That's why we need a hand audit. Whoa, we can't because you don't have enough evidence. We're trying to get to it. That's why you yeah. have hundreds of people saying, we saw it, we saw it. We need to confirm it, and they're trying to seize voting machines. There is no amount of proof that will allow the left to say, okay, you know what? Let's just let's recount this. Why don't you just yeah. do an audit? Verify senior, you do it, this all goes away. This yeah. all yeah. goes away. You will not hear a, a peep from me, cross my heart, and hope to die. Yeah. Well, and, and why in the world would they allow a ballot that has an 11 month old birthday on it? It's like, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Is that, that overrides the system? Just go straight Baby trash. military? I guess we're a little yeah. murky on the rule book as to when life begins. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If they're voting straight ticket Democrats. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Just keep that yeah. one. That one survived the abortion. Keep it in the incubator for another uh, one's election. Four months. Yeah. Four months. We'll uh, we'll get that. Just vote. put one, this one, in his little paw there. Let me do it. Okay. And yeah. Good. Thank well, you. For like, and, yeah. And throw out every single ballot that has one one twenty twenty yes. as the. I'm sorry. It's insane. You did it, not us. Right? right. It's not our fault that you cheated. I, so this is the point. The whole point is every one of these instances needs to be investigated and either proven to be completely false so that we can all point and laugh and go, yeah, you guys are idiots for saying that, right. or proven that something did happen that needs to be undone right why is that controversial well they will say well listen it's not our and i understand this the burden of proof is not on me to prove innocence well first off that's for an individual right and at this case at this point in this case there's far more evidence than for example russia collusion well, you were saying prove an absence of okay and it was in this case there have been no steps to verify it all the closest we have is a recount of the exact same machine ballots right, exactly. in georgia which wouldn't reveal any of this info you you wouldn't be able to confirm affidavits if you did that recount of the machine and by the way they still found 5500 more votes right i don't even know how that <laughs> happens i don't either but here's the thing 
they are on the hook for making right. sure this election. If you have reason to believe that there was fraud in this election and you sign your name certifying the results of that election, there's a lot of people out there right now that think that might be illegal. Yes. Right? So you do have a responsibility to make sure that these instances... It's not us to pay for an audit. This is absolutely worth looking into. And, and by the way, Donald Trump it, did try and no. pay for an audit in Wisconsin. Well, yeah, exactly. They're talking about this uh, Jimmy uh, Bruschetta there on CNN. Look, they're saying... <laughs> Georgia Secretary Bruschetta? of State's second recount <laughs> sees no major changes so far. Well, of course you couldn't. Recount. They didn't right. check the signatures. Yeah, they're not doing what they're being asked to do. Let's say this. <laughs> so you guys use a Scantron still in school? No. Did you guys use a Scantron? Yeah, when yeah, you yeah. Did I did. I, I used a number two Sorry. pencil. Yeah. My scam was I used to deliberately use a non-number two pencil, get myself some extra days of study, be like, oh, the Smart. test didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should have said number two. We did say number two. We said it in the handout that we sent home with you uh, and again before the test. Well, at that point, it's too late. So here's another one. Another witness said that uh, the Dominion voting machines, um, and we've talked about this yesterday, but this is another person saying that they were connected to the internet. When I got down there on the morning of the 4th, I went back for an additional day because I witnessed so many irregularities when I was there on election day on the 3rd. Immediately upon walking in, I, I ran into uh, Randy Bishop, and Randy owns radio stations. He, he's very IT savvy. He said, Brian, I was here all night. What, what's going on here is unbelievable. He said, let me show you something right now before I leave. So he walked me over to the high-speed scanners and tabulators, and he said, see all these Ethernet lines running out of the uh, tabulators? They're all bundled together as they accumulate, and then they're all connected to these routers, and then they all go to the main uh, computer. He said, these are all hooked into the Internet, and that is illegal, and it should not be happening because it opens them up to hacking. Isn't it weird when a witness has to tell people there that something's illegal? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Your Honor, that's illegal. Shit. Ah. <laughs> Which He's means, right. Sure. right. <laughs> Which means bad. Could, couldn't a five-year-old spot an Ethernet cable? Do you have to be an IT expert to point this out, right. that yeah, this yeah. little line running from the machine connecting to a router is going to the Internet? Can we get some 11-month-old year, uh, poll watchers yeah, looking for Ethernet <laughs> cables? Can we do that? <laughs> seems oh like there, it seems like there's just a pandemic of 11-month-old voters. Just put them on poll watching duty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give him something Are to you do. an Ethernet cable specialist? No, I'm no, I'm not. sorry, <laughs> sir. You have to go home because a pipe burst. I know. We're disappointed <laughs> yeah. about it as well. <laughs> On your way now. <laughs> <laughs> Crawls out. Crawls out. <laughs> Uh, Most secure election in modern American history. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we talked about this yesterday, by the way, a poll challenger, uh, and uh, so this was a Dominion contract right. um, we talked about that people had previously testified that yeah. they were connected to the internet, and yeah. they talked about how they were connected to Wi-Fi and how this was going out uh, uh, to Frankfurt, Germany. There are these right. connections that people had access to it, that foreign actors could absolutely have access to it, and there was information that was being distributed to foreign actors. Now, I'm saying these are the allegations, these are the claims, and there have been receipts brought. You cannot claim that it is the most fair and secure election of all time if it's connected to Wi-Fi without a password. Yeah. Well, saying it was a safe and secure election is also a positive claim that right. has a burden of proof, too. Right. Right. So prove it. They, have, they have to do that yeah. as much as and they don't stand up under that, They never yeah, stand right. up under scrutiny. Right. Yeah. It's the safest. It's the safest and most secure election of modern American history. Uh, question. Yes. You in the back. What if someone has access to a radio shack? Well, then it's out of our hands. That's, we can't deal <laughs> with that. Uh, <laughs> Can you imagine going to like the police and saying, yeah, there's this guy over there. He's got a he severed head in his yard. That's not enough evidence for us to come over there. But really, you yeah. should. Well, are you going to pay for this? Are you going to pay for yeah. us to come and it investigate this potential crime? <laughs> like, Do you have a severed head in your yard? No, well, Is that I, why you've got murder I know, on the brain? I, I know a guy. Here's another one. Um, I don't know if you remember this. The day after the election, so we'll go back to when we were covering this. Mm. This was after, uh, in uh, uh, I believe, an hour and a half nap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was still sleeping. You weren't. That's. Were you here? No, you weren't here that no, no, day. No, no, no. not the morning. Not the morning. The next he day, was. That's yeah. right. He wasn't here the morning after. Yeah. We had Courtney, you, yeah. and then yeah. Bill, half Asian Bill, Bill came, came in. in a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. some of this exclusive right, info, yeah. uh, because Crazy. we stopped election night because they said they were going to stop counting. We're going to stop counting. There's nothing we can do here. There's nothing. What, what are we going to do? Speculate like it's a cable news show? That's valueless. <laughs> so <laughs> we decided to go home, get a little beauty sleep. Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> yeah. Or not. Namely that my face Ooh. looks like pudding. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, stop it. Don't, don't, it, don't, no. don't ruin my self-deprecation. It's, it's, no. it's a firm pudding. <laughs> it's more <laughs> of a congealed. Uh, uh, it's more of a yeah. pudding, pudding skin. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Right. Yeah. Pudding that's been left out Which overnight. Which is the best part. Uncovered. <laughs> so after the election, we were covering this again in real. This is something that we have that nobody else out there could have because you had people who covered the election live and then you have commentators afterward. Mm. We were the same people, aside from it, Gerald notwithstanding, but yeah, we don't sorry. expect you to do 19 hours of streaming, I get it. Um, <laughs> we were covering it that night, came back an hour and a half later, and there was all of a sudden, 
this dump of votes that changed the election. Yeah. Here's a trip down memory lane. It's the dead of night. Yeah. The polls have been closed for hours and hours. Where are these? Ba- where are these? And they were supposed to from? stop counting. That's what they said on air. Think of the different points here where there's no security. There's no security. First off, we have no idea how these things got into the van. There's no one there right now escorting him from the van. Wild conspiracy theory centering on ballot counting in Detroit is going viral tonight. Without evidence, she suggests that what she's recording is someone delivering thousands of ballots in the middle of the night, right around the time Michigan went from Trump to Biden. Sorrell even did an interview about it with a conservative radio host. It looks Hmm. like it was carrying, as it is now, equipment for our crews who were working long hours here yesterday. Right, so that was our coverage Mm -hmm. and then their coverage of our coverage. Yeah, yeah. Fact check. (laughs) This isn't isn't on radio. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like you can't trust them. (laughs) We don't know what YouTube is. It's radio. (laughs) And so that's what we were covering the day of, 4 a.m. That happened and the election changed. And again, you see in the Michigan hearings yesterday, this is confirmed by several witnesses uh, who confirmed that uh, I want to be real. What's the name of the wagons that they call it? Red Flyer? What is it? Radio Flyer. Radio 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 Flyer. Radio Flyer. So there were coolers coming in. This is what the media does with their selective fact checks. There were coolers coming in. There was the red radio flyers. That was called Radio Flyer Wagon. Radio Flyers. And we said, what, they're just bringing ballots in? What the media did, they fact checked. They said, ah, they were putting camera equipment in the wagon. First off, uh, I uh, transport camera equipment. Um, I pay for the equipment that you see here. It's kind of expensive, yeah. kind of a biggie, uh, so I try and keep it protected. There's no way to protect it in a wagon. <laughs> it just yeah. rocks around. There's no possible. It's like, hey, can I guarantee that these $4,000 lenses are never usable once again? <laughs> Let me put it. So they fact check, go, the wagon had camera equipment. Well, what about all the coolers? Well, we haven't investigated that. Do it! That's your job! Well, hold on. What was in the coolers? We assume more cameras. You can't fit it in that cooler. And, and as, yeah, the as we were fire. watching this, we were saying, "What is this? What yeah, is this going on? This is a this is a weird right. process." And we pointing out saying, the security, this is exactly what this is. We we're saying this is yeah. a poorly ha- poorly handled security. Risk. So either way, yeah. these things shouldn't be allowed to go in completely unchecked with yeah. no security in right. and out the front door, back door. That's what we were talking about. It was uh, it was unraveling yeah. before our eyes. We were watching it play out, and they fact checked. Well, it turns out the wagon just had a couple of cannons. We're like, "Oh, yeah. okay, cannons oh. a camera." Oh. Right. Had I a couple of Nokia's. Well, what about the rest of it? Well, you know what? We have to move on to something else. We're pretty busy. Did you? Elliot Page? (laughs) Trending number one. So um, (laughs) this was confirmed uh, after reporting that there were 84 boxes, 600 ballots each, 50,000 votes. Let's go to the hearing clip. I also saw the the ballots being dropped off about, I don't know, 3, 3 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 o'clock, 3.30, I think I've heard 4 o'clock. Um, is by my estimation, there was a delivery, I would estimate, because the table in the center next to the main stage is where the uh, ballots were brought to. Somewhere at least 60 boxes were brought in. I see a truck at the loading dock coming in the back of the TCF center. And by the time I looked, Mr. Baxter and his management team were personally holding in boxes and carrying them in. I'm looking at these numbers here, 84 boxes. 600 each in each box, over 50,000 ballots. Where did these ballots go? They were just processed. Isn't it weird that, again, this witness testimony, they're bringing information that you think the people in charge of the election should know right away. Right. right. I would estimate, uh, I don't know, 50 boxes. They should be able to go right away. Oh, at that time, was it 452? We can tell you exactly how many votes and how many boxes. No idea. And where they came from? No idea. Santa's Christmas list of naughty and nice <laughs> is more effective. Think about that for yeah, a second. Yeah. They didn't but, even check it once. Right. <laughs> if someone came in and said, hey, you know what? Uh, you're guilty. And this is, let's say, let's say YouTube or Facebook came in and said, hey, you know what? You're guilty of hate speech because you said that uh, Elliot Page was at, was at one point a woman. Or you said that uh, a female was in the film. Uh, the pregnant female in Juno was a woman, right? And right. they say that yes. you're guilty of hate speech. Yes, I said, really? Where do they say this? They say somewhere around uh, uh, in the first. Oh, hold on. You're talking about uh, Ellen Page, the wonderful actress who I actually really liked and remains to be seen. What happens with Elliot Page? Yeah, we can find that at four minutes and 33 seconds. Why? Because it's my show. I'm in charge of it. <laughs> We've got the records. But imagine if someone else has to come in and give me time codes to my yeah. program. <laughs> yeah. You're in charge of the election. Well, that's outside of my purview. 
what is in your purview, yeah. Harold? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and what happened next? Yeah. <laughs> That's what and, the guy's And, and this is what you're calling the safest and securest, yeah. uh, most secure Every question is question election. mark. Yeah. I don't like it when the people who are in charge of elections are sitting at rapt attention because the <laughs> curiosity <laughs> gap is so incredible <laughs> due to eyewitness testimony. Yeah. Like, well, we saw these uh, wow. votes, these pallets coming in in coolers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Oh, fascinating. <laughs> Tell me more, Captain. So here's another claim that was made at the hearings. Uh, a Dominion contractor. Ooh, it's getting interesting. Hey, Melissa no. Car Carone, Caroni um, uh, said that there were batches of ballots. Again, this is a claim that has been made several times. Would be easily dis You could easily disprove it if you just actually counted these yeah. ballots. If you actually accessed the machines and mm. went through the hand ballots and properly addressed the secrecy yeah. envelopes, right? If you did that, you'd be able to dispel all all of this, it's like, hey, let's assume it's none of it's true. But at a certain point when you have hundreds of people, I don't know if it's over thousands now who are coming forward saying it's true, just make it go, just make it go away. She said eight to 10 times these batches of ballots are being counted. There was um, batches of ballots being ran through the tabulating machines numerous times, um, being counted eight to 10 times. At least 90% of those workers were all in on this. There was not a single ballot the whole night, the whole 27 hours I was there that I saw that was for Di Donald Trump, not one. Wow. Take Michigan Helen and Bottom Carter's word for it. <laughs> yeah. Some ballots may be hidden in her hair. <laughs> 27 hours. Yeah. And not a single Trump vote. Ah, no, they just don't like him there. Weird. No, 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 nothing, nothing, no, um, weird. nothing to see I'm here sorry, at all. I'm sorry. Totally I didn't mean safe. to launch into conspiracy theories. <laughs> Even Chavez is watching this, going like, "Listen, you got to, you got to throw him off the scent." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't put oh, a couple I mean, here, a couple there. Yeah. You know, a few people disappear. Tell them they stuck. To you. You have, it's cold up there yeah. in DC. Tell them they stuck their uh, tongue to a telephone pole. They're not around anymore. And then count the votes. <laughs> right. I mean, be realistic here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. So blatant. Well, maybe eventually they'll investigate. Who knows? <laughs> and keep in mind, this is, again, corroborated by other people um, in Michigan. Yeah. Affidavits. I think we have this in the Michigan brief. It's page uh, 17. Uh, throughout the night, this is a witness who said, throughout the night I witnessed uh, this person insert the same 27 ballots at least five times. Should be five easy to disprove. Times. Should be easy. Well, easy. Yeah. Very easy. It, not should. It is easy to disprove. Yeah. You just go in and look. <laughs> Donald Trump Easy. Jr. had a lunch meeting one time, and they talked about it for three years. Yeah. Right. So, <laughs> right. I, again, I, I, the more and more this stuff stacks up, the more and more I realize, oh, there's no convincing the media. Yeah, there's no yeah. convincing the media. Right. This, That's what's so worrisome right. is the accountability. And when people say, why does the trans yeah. thing matter? Well, hold on a second. You have someone who might sign an executive order into action if, God forbid, he actually takes office, Joe Biden, that right. says uh, basically any boy can go into any locker room he wants, and potentially parents will not be able to stop their children from right. taking puberty blockers, may actually be guilty of child abuse if they don't provide puberty blockers for their children, and the media won't hold his feet to the fire at all. That's why it matters. That's why it's scary. This is the election is bad, not because the election was stolen. That too, but the consequences afterward, because there is no accountability. You think about this for a second. At least there are some checks and balances, right? When you have, mm, yeah. let's if you just take it with the White House, the House, right? We have three branches of government. Okay, you have a balance. You have grit, people bitched about gridlock. What about an auto bond? That's scarier than a gridlock when you're talking about someone with the power of the pen who's a president yeah. and someone who has a media. And I'm not just talking about a, a House or Senate, a president, a House and the media who will call them on nothing. That's what's scariest about this election. You see them not calling them to the mat on the election itself. You think they're going to do you think they're going to do that when they go, oh, my gosh, the science shows us that pumping a young boy full of estrogen is bad for him. You think yeah. they're ever going to bring that up? No, and they're, they're no. claiming right now that they're going to go after him just as hard as they went after Trump. And sure. yet it took us days and days of pounding on the door to get them to ask the question about packing the court. Right. Like they didn't want to touch that. It took almost a month of them going, hey, he said he's going to ban fracking. You should probably ask him. Pennsylvania voters might care about this. Are you going to ban fracking? Well, I think their treatment of Obama and uh, President Trump is comparable. Very, very much sure. so, yeah. So this is a, there's a project. Uh, it's called the Amistad Project. Um, and they held a press conference. So this is separate from different uh, states. Right. I believe this was in Pennsylvania yeah. about uh, mail-in ballot voter fraud. This is specifically coming from postal workers. It's not um, about slaves. 
What was that? It's not about slaves? No, it's not about slaves so much. Different Amistad. Uh, they requested, uh, is it Amistad or I'm thinking Amadeus? That's the one with the, uh, where they're writing the funeral. Uh, what's the name of a funeral song? What is it called again? A dirge? Not a dirge. Another song. Know. There's another word for it. I'm not sure. Son of a bitch. Okay. No, the no, one with Mozart in it. Definitely. It was oh, Mozart in it. Yeah. Um, the lawyers <laughs> there requested logs, evidence um, that uh, the drop boxes uh, uh, were secured. They want to check that to make sure that they were secured. You just have like it has yeah. a lock on it. You know, like imagine it's a gun in your house. <laughs> Imagine it's important. It's been refused, though. It has been completely refused. Um, and these postal workers claim that um, this alone might be caused to uh, undo the certification. This is something that's important. You don't need to prove millions of fraudulent votes. Yeah. You just need to uh, you just need to prove that they weren't safe and secure. I would argue an Ethernet cable going straight to communist China. You know, <laughs> it's a long cable. Yeah. Tom <laughs> tomato, tomato, chai com. <laughs> um, they say that this is enough, and I would agree, to undo the official certification of election results. Will they ever release video of these drop boxes as they promised? So far, we have demanded such information. It has been refused. People refuse for a reason. What is that reason? Lying. We have election experts that have been working with us who say <laughs> that that conduct in breaking the chain of custody prevents the certification of the election process as applied under federal law, the Help America Vote Act. All right. The chain of custody is important enough. Yep. Yes. Okay, the chain of custody, this is something that is required legally so that we know that these ballots aren't switched, you know, so someone doesn't pull an old David Copperfield with the future yeah. of the free world. So, if, so let's say a chain of custody, they're bringing in OJ, where he was found guilty known in a civil court. Of course, he right. was innocent, and uh, we all rushed to judgment on the criminal trial. So sorry. Of course. We were, I was, That's yeah, too bad. We were racism. very quick sorry to judge him, but the civil court where he was guilty, right? Yeah. Uh, and then he went to jail later on for memorabilia. Imagine that we have a chain of custody, and they walk behind, I don't know, let's just say a pony wall. OJ, you see some <laughs> cops walk him behind the pony wall. They do that little bit where they walk down the stairs. And then he comes up, and it's just Kevin Hart in an orange jumpsuit. You go, wait a second, that's not the same thing. <laughs> Easy there to was no up. one monitoring it. it like the chain of custody is that a that's what happened with the ballots. Yeah. <laughs> what happened is the ballots Kevin did not Martin. go through the proper chain of custody. For example, in some scenarios where they said a pipe burst, which is not true, we have no, verifiable video happen. evidence, and then all of a sudden the ballots don't seem to be or the numbers don't reflect what was statistically a pattern that was becoming increasingly likely. That's the thing with patterns. I know you guys don't like science so much anymore, no. hmm. leftists, but when you see patterns, especially the bigger the number gets, with more votes, the more consistent that pattern often becomes. I'm not an analyst, I'm not a statistician, but there are a lot of people who've made this argument and it stands to reason. Again, if you were just to poll this room, how many Trump voters? Probably right. 100%. You go bigger, maybe it's 90. Bigger, 80. All of a sudden, you have an entire municipality or state. It's 50-50. Those are also, by the way, known as bellwether counties, of which Donald Trump won 19 of 20. Oh, That seems like a lot. And by the way, th this was pre precluded or preceded by us saying, hey, drop boxes are a bad idea. Can we at least have some protections to make sure that they're secure? Can we at least have some video things? And then, oh, no, 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 this is going to be fine. We'll make sure they're secure. We'll make sure people are watching. We'll make sure there's video evidence. And then nothing. So another postal <laughs> service worker um, had 130 to 280,000 ballots. This is what he claims. Um, and he said that they disappear uh, in his trail. I think we have this clip right now where he said that they just disappeared um, after he was taking them from New York to Pennsylvania, which almost, almost seems like from out of state. <laughs> <laughs> this evidence demonstrates, and it's through eyewitness testimony that's been corroborated by others through their eyewitness statements that 130,000 to 280,000 completed ballots for the 2020 general election were shipped from Bethpage, New York, to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where those ballots and the trailer in which they were shipped disappeared. But as things became weirder, I got to thinking and wondered why I was driving complete ballots from New York to Pennsylvania. It's a little I late to be know, thinking. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I didn't know why, so I decided to speak up. And that's what I'm doing today. I believe, beyond a shadow of a doubt, we have evidence of a massive transfer of, of completed, curated ballots ready to be injected into counting centers. 
And that guy who was speaking earlier, I don't, you know, it, listen, if you're going to show up and you're going to provide witness testimony under oath, don't go with the Renfield haircut. No. <laughs> it's not a good look. <laughs> Maybe a cold. Stephen, this only matters if you think New York and Pennsylvania are different states still. So, you know, that's a conspiracy that's, theory. That's unfounded. <laughs> Can I say shitholes about states? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's interesting. That, yeah. yeah. Mainly not, New not York. Not if you're the president. Mainly New York. Mainly New York. But let's be honest. Yeah. Philly, you got the Liberty Bell. That's not it. much else. <laughs> Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10:15 Eastern.